Belly, you've been covering this for a while, so let's just take a big step back. Big, big step big back. Step. Um, from $25 billion to maybe $2 billion, yeah. what happened? So he came out and was kind of talking up that $25 billion uh, Mark Scarlett in a town hall earlier in the month when they were first starting these road shows, meeting with investors one-on-one, -on -one, courting the million-plus retail followers that follow him on X, formerly known as Twitter, and really talked up the fact that 20 to $25 billion could be the target for that. Then we saw a few weeks later, last week, uh, saying they're going to cap it at $10 billion, oh. but in a letter that ended up having to be published uh, in in a filing with the SEC, he told some of his current investors, you know, 2.4 to 5 billion or 2.5 to 4 billion dollars, and then today's filing below all of that. So, in the process of these numbers being adjusted mm -hmm. lower, the SEC has delayed regulatory approval of the IPO. It's supposed to go public this week. It's not going to happen until later on. Yeah, and we saw when they first launched their pretty lengthy roadshow mm -hmm. that they were targeting a deal pricing yesterday evening that would then debut today. Uh, because of that letter, according to the firm, they had to file that with the SEC. That's held things up. They're now, according to term sheets that we've seen, targeting a pricing next week on Monday with trading on Tuesday. But when I talked to some close end fund specialists, they aren't completely sold on that timing just because that filing still hasn't been declared effective by the SEC, which is a requirement before that IPO. Okay, so so first things first, SEC has to okay everything. Mm -hmm. The big issue here is that Seth Klarman of Baupost has decided against investing in the fund. Who are the backers of this fund then, of this closed end fund? Well, when we look at that letter that he sent to current Pershing proper investors, he laid out Baupost, he laid out Putnam, he laid out uh, the Teachers of Texas, now I can't find the... The Pension exam. Fund of... Pension Fund of Texas Teachers, uh, as people who were already spoken for. And then we broke yesterday Bloomberg that Baupost actually opted not to be in for that $150 million mark. Still talking up his relationships, uh, it seems to be behind the scenes, but the big question is, $2 billion is still a lot of money, but it's a small fraction of what he had talked up. How much comes from institutions? How much comes from retailers? Uh, that's really something we're going to be keeping an eye on.